Now for the fun part, we're gonna learn how to use the boxing bag. We're gonna apply those techniques and punches that we learned and also add some new combinations. Okay? So in starts from out of range, we're gonna step in range to punch. One, two, yep. Okay? Step two, yep. What what you notice is I've stepped in to punch. My back foot hasn't moved. That stays there, okay? Um in starts, step one, two, yep. Okay, I can't reach the bag. Now I can. The one, two, three, two combination. Okay? With the hook technique, just to cover this one specifically, you're gonna bring your whole body across with that three, okay? If you have a look at my knee, my toe, and my hip, it comes right across, okay? My weight comes all the way back, and my arm is simply an extension of my body moving, okay? So, you're not just doing this, okay? That's not a, that's, that's not a technique to the hook, okay? That's um, just using your arm, okay? We want to hit them with our entire body coming in like that, okay? So, the knee and the hip comes right across. Okay, let's have a look at the one, two, three, two. Step, one, two, three, two. Yep. Step. Okay, the step sets up the three by stepping and positioning with that one. We then throw the two the, as the three is now ready and in there. Okay, I can't reach the bag. I can't reach the bag. Now I can. Cool. The one, one, two, three, two. With this combination, we're gonna take a small step with our first one. Then we're gonna take another step with our second one. And then we're gonna throw the two, three, two. The first step is just a really small step, okay? Smaller step than before. Then it's gonna be another one. And then the two, three, two, another step, sorry. A big mistake that people will make is they'll take a big step out and then throw a one, bring the hand back, and then keep that leg there while they're throwing another one. That's not how you do it. So this is how we're going to do it, okay? Well, we're out of range at the moment. You know, there's good space between me and the bag and me and my opponent. And I'm going to step in one, two, three, three, two. Yep. Okay, out of range. One, two, three, two. Okay, change angle a little bit. Step one. That wasn't it, sorry. Okay. Cool. Now for the two, three, two, three, two, three combination. Okay? So you can pretty much just throw two threes endlessly. All we're doing is learning how to shift our body weight back and forth. Okay? So when you throw that two, you can kind of step in with that two, because we're not, we're not going to throw a one with this combination, although you can. We're just going to step in, throw a two. Now that one positions are three. We're going to throw a three, two, three. Okay? So let's have a look. Step in. Two, three, two, three. Two. Yeah? Okay? Now let's introduce the backhand hook with the four, okay? So it's a one, four, three, two. Throwing that backhand hook is much like just throwing a two. We, just, we still bring that hip and the knee across, except we bring the weight around this way. Four, you're gonna bring that hand straight back to your face. Three, and then two, okay? Let's have a look. With these hits, you wanna open up your elbow angle a little bit, okay? So don't have it too short with your hooks. Okay, open up your elbow angle, okay? You're not fighting somebody that's going to be right in front of your face. You're going to be fighting them. The bag's going to be over here, okay? So we're going to step in. One, four, three, two. Out of range. Just like that, yeah? Out of range. Okay, we 
that in. Cool. The step one, two, three, bring your hand back again, and then throw another three. And now a big mistake that people will make is they'll, you know, do their one, two, three as normal, but then keep their hand, keep their body weight shifted back here, and then simply use the arm to try and throw another three. Or they'll leave their arm out there, bring their body weight back, and then you know try and you know keep their arm out there while throwing a three. You know that just doesn't work, right? Okay? The proper way to do it: one, step one, two, three. Bring your body weight back again. Don't throw the two in guard again and another three okay and another point is when you throw your hit the proper textbook way to throw a, a normal range hook is by, by having the, the hand the first positioned like so okay and you know the, another way to do it is by rolling the fist this way okay but that's more for like very long range hooks okay the, the strongest way to do it in a medium range fight is uh, like so okay so let's have a look one two three three Now you can drop down to the body with the second three or the first three and then come up back up to the head or uh, mix and match, you have options, okay? Let's see if I put on this camera angle. Can't really get it. One more. With the one, two, three, four, three, four. We're going to square up quite a lot after our first one, two, okay? So, and that's because it's easier when you really squared up, it's easier to just throw continuous hooks, okay? Compared to when you're a little bit, when you're in your normal squared up stance, okay? So, let's have a look. Let's see if I can get this one. Okay? I'm out of range. And what I did there was I um, I brought my back foot up a little bit off that first one too, okay? So I threw the one two, then I threw the three, and, I, and just as I was throwing the four, I think I positioned my leg a bit more squared up, and then threw the four, and the three, and the four from that position, okay? So I started right here, one, two, three, four, three, four. A small step up, okay? Step one, two, five, two. Now with the uppercuts, okay? Now this is with both either a five or a six. Um, you're going to have a slight, you're going to keep your hands where they are, a slight dip in your knees, and then you're simply going to come up with your knees and then as you're coming up, you're just releasing your hand from your face and it hits them in the head, okay? So it's your body weight that's generating that up force, okay? It's not, it's not the arm just going down like that. That's what a lot of beginners make that mistake, okay? Just hooking like so, okay? Or well, they'll have their hands on there and they'll, you know, go like this, okay? That's completely wrong. Your hands are up here, okay? Like that, yeah? That's a hook, okay, and it's the same concept with the hook, uh, um, sorry, that's an uppercut. It's the same concept with the hooks as well, okay, with the hooks, okay, when you bring your hip and your knee across, you know, your hands are still staying there, and then just as you're coming towards the end, you release that arm from your face and it hits them in the head, okay, and then you bring it straight back to your guard again. A big mistake people make is they'll just have their arm out there and then, you know, just like this or something like that, okay, um, whatever, they, the, the proper way to do it is just, you know, five. Six, okay? So let's have a look at that one, two, five, two combination, okay? It's a bit harder on the bag when there's no, you know, part to uppercut, but uh, you can still do it, yeah? One, two, three, six, and a two, okay? So with this combination, you're simply uppercutting the head up, okay? And then when the head is uppercutted up, you just 
smashing it back with the two, okay? So a three doesn't follow that six, okay? You, you, it's very rare that after you throw, uh, um, after you shift your body weight this way, you know, you're gonna bring, bring it back and throw another um, two, but you know, in this case, we are going to do that, okay? So one, two, three, six, and then two, yeah? Let's take a look. Thank <laughs> you. 